Another episode here, episode number two. I'll be doing the handlebars. I took the front end apart. I actually took a lot of the bike apart. You'll see right now, I'll show you exactly what I did to it. But we are throwing on some 14 inch Carlini Gangsters with grips, everything, got the lines, all the extended cables, extended wiring, wiring's already done on the bars. Went ahead and did that the other day. But right now, let me show you what I got done so far to the bike. That's right, tank is gone. Bars are off, risers are off, cans finally came off, cans are finally off, seat is off. Now the original fork tubes are still over there, new ones are already on their way, they should be here the next couple days. You're in the garage, you know, you're working on your bike, you spent hours, man, I mean, time flies by, you have no idea what's going on. Next you know, you're in here one hour, two hours, three hours, I think I spent probably last Friday and Saturday in here. You know, that's what it's about. Enjoying what you do, having fun, listening to music. I usually have music blasting in the background and whatnot, but for the sakes of copyright infringement, no music during the taking of this video, unless it's like free music or something like that. About to throw these bars on. First thing I'm gonna do is throw on these risers, then I'll throw on the bars. All right, this is what we're throwing on. We got some Presidente risers from Carlini. I don't want to deal with the bars moving back and forth, you know, when we're riding. So I'm running solid bushings in this. Basically, it's going to take place of the stock ones, which I thought I had them around here, but I guess not. Back. After a quick wardrobe change, the bars are done. And they look killer. Nah, I'm just joking. The bars are done. I'm not joking about that part, but the wardrobe change... It's another day. It got freezing. Like the last episode, man, we're still here in February now. Man, it got cold. It got brutal last night, actually. So I finished the bars, went inside. Yesterday, it was in the low teens last night in here. And today, it's mid-40s. Yeah, go figure that, right? Regardless, the bars are done. Let me show you how they look. Let me know what you think. And there they are. Handlebars are done. Carlini Gangsters, inch and a quarter. No step down, straight through. Two inch risers right here. Brass grips. Got new Y-blade lovers. The lines are off. That's actually next. But this is how they look. A lot better than I was thinking. So I'm definitely feeling the look of these. Next is the lines, cables, the throttle cable and everything. Um, brake lines, clutch cable. That's next as well. Here's the view from the seat. Look at that. Wrist good. Lean got that lean forward look. Man. I ended up going with Magnum Shielding Company. I went with the black pearl design. So I didn't want to go with the regular vinyl lines. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that either. I mean, that's that's what this bike's got on there right now. But I want to do an upgrade. But you can see I got the throttle cable came with. Um, got the... The idle cable, clutch cable, the brake line. So all that's included in the kit, plus the wire extensions that I already used when I did the bars. I like these because it comes, like I said, it comes, everything's powder coated. I wanted to be a little bit different with this build. I'll do a little bit more my flavor. I like the black look, so everything, even the adjusters, black powder coated. Jesus Christ, these are gonna look good. Jesus Christ! I'm gonna start with the, throw the throttle cable and the idle cable on. I want to make quick note of this. We're about to do our cables here, our throttle and idle control cable. The one thing I noticed is I've seen a lot of bikes where they'll just throw them on and they don't route them right. You got spaghetti cables everywhere. It looks nasty, man. So pay attention to how they're routed because it routes this way underneath and then it curves back over here and hooks up. This is not an EFI model. And a Kuni carburetor. All right, there's a lot more behind this story here. So I'll get to that in a later video. But for now, pay attention to how you're routing the cables, all right? Don't just throw them on there and then call it a day. Run around and you got wild Medusa hair over here with your cables. Throttle cables and the beginning of the brake cable is ran. It is ran down. Routed. I had to loosen 
the front head pipe. All right, so I had to loosen that up and I came and loosened, took it off the bracket back here. That way it gets loose. Hey man, dropped a good dime on this exhaust. I wrapped it in my towels. Don't want it to get scratched up. Put tape, all painter's tape right here because this needs to come off. The pipe was actually too high. So it's blocking these bottom two bolts I need to take off to get this little cover off. All right, so right now we're about to do the clutch cable. And a lot of times it's tricky to get the snap ring out, but I'm gonna show you how I do it. You know, basically close it up. I like to slide it a little bit this way, you know, towards the front like that. Then try to get this piece up to get it to pop up a little bit. Then you can slide it out. Let me get this in here. It will fly out, so you just gotta be careful. See, I already got this slide out. I'll just yank on it a little bit. There you go, just like that. And it slides right out. You could see, pull this top piece off. Watch out, because the ball bearings are in there. Okay, one of them popped out of here. I'll get it in a little bit. They're gonna come out anyways. All right, so it's typically like this, all right? Flip it, and you'll see like a little lock mechanism right here. Basically move it like that so that you could, see when it's right there, you can't get it out. You gotta slide it. So there's opening, boom, out it comes. Then you just loosen up the nut right here at the side and just start turning it off or make it easier. Just grab it and spin the whole thing. You know what, let me get these ball bearings out before they go flying. And now it comes. That's it, there's your cover. I already ran the new one right here. So I'll just slide it in there, take this off, of course. Kit comes with a new O-ring, so we'll throw the O-ring on there, get on there. They're pretty much gonna do the reverse procedure of how we did to take it off. Clutch cable is finally done. It wasn't that bad, got it knocked out real quick. I went ahead and adjusted it, got that taken care of. I'll do some fine tuning adjustment on there once I get the whole entire bike back on the ground. I'll take you know for a little test ride, but that won't be until down the road once we get it all set up. Here's the clutch cable already set up. Ready to go, routed underneath, up this way. All right, we got a package from UPS today. The lowers, the chrome lowers finally arrived, but there's some bad news. Let me show you what that bad news is about. There they are. Chrome lowers finally arrived. Now, if you know about bikes, you can tell right off the bat what the problem is. These are the wrong ones. These are set up for dual calipers. These actually look like they belong on a bagger. But you know what? I think the dude just sent me the wrong ones. He probably sent me somebody else's by mistake. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna blow apart the front stock force that I got. And um, I'm gonna start messing with the lowering kit on there. You gotta take advantage of what you got, you know? I mean, I don't got all the time in the world either. There's already flyers coming out for some bike runs coming up out here in the city. So, Want to get that done. Look at that. Don't you hate when that happens? Nobody said this was going to be easy. Put it like that. Nobody said it was going to be easy. It never is with these things. But for now, what I'm going to do is call it a night. It's supposed to be nice weather this week. I'm going to go inside, have myself a glass of whiskey. I got some good news. All that stuff I was saying about testing the, the lowering kit and everything on this bike, forget it, out the window. It's only been about two days, I believe. I got a surprise in the mail yesterday. Those lowers that were sent wrong, they arrived. They came in like two days after I talked to him. They actually came in faster than the original ones did. And so they're here. These are the ones that I needed. 
see that with the lower piece that comes off with the little hump that's what I needed zingo caliper so now that we have them we can actually get started and start putting this front end together all right one of the forks is done I'm about done with the other one but I want to show you this lowering kit that I went with this time this is what we went with two inch lower dampening rod simple as that got these from VMS racing they have different applications for all sorts of motorcycles I went this route I've never done this type of lowering kit before so this is the first time I'm going to apply it over to my bike basically all I got to do is transfer the rebound spring from the original dampening rod over to the lowered one this is a um, homemade 41 millimeter fork seal driver so it's inch and a half PVC tube with a slit cut down the middle. So this is what we got right now. Let's go ahead and throw this back in the other fork and keep moving. You know what? It's Monday. I'm tired. Got off of work. But I had to get these chrome lowers on. And I'm glad I did because they look A1. They look badass. They look top notch. Let me show you how they look like. I'm really glad. I'm really happy the way they came out. Check it out. Would you look at that? Would you look at this? <laughs> yeah. We got some chrome to roam in them streets now. We got the chrome cans flowing right into the chrome legs. Man, these things are looking good. Got to give a shout out to Rick at r and r Cycles Plating. He came through with that chrome. And that's that. We've came to the end of this episode. Episode 2. Again, we ended up doing the bars and we also did those chrome lowers, ran into that snag. Now it's time to move on to the next step. I'm going to reveal the wheels that I'm going to be throwing on this V-Club build. Man, I can't wait. I've been anxious to throw those wheels on here already. Keep watching, like, subscribe, hit me up with the comments. Until the next time, peace.